There are two concepts that often get conflated in the database space, the primary key and the primary index. Most people familiar with databases know what a primary key is. It's the unique identifier of every row in a table. A table can only have one primary key and it provides a structure to the table's data that makes it both easier to understand as well as improves query performance. The columns in a primary key are used to create its primary index, which CockroachDB uses by default to access the table's data. An index is a data structure that enables efficient lookups of records. The primary index is actually just the table ordered by the primary key. To visualize primary keys and primary indexes, think of a filing cabinet. If a filing cabinet full of employee files is organized by employee ID, that is comparable to a table having a column called employee ID as its primary key. To dive a little bit deeper into the filing cabinet analogy, if you were to open a drawer in the filing cabinet, you would see a bunch of files. This is similar to a table containing many rows. Each file has a label that they're ordered by, comparable to a row having a primary key. Having this label makes it really easy to find the right file without having to read every piece of information. Up until now, the primary keys I've talked about have all been comprised of a single column. There are also multi-column primary keys, which are called composite keys. In a composite key, the combination of all the included columns must be unique. For example, if I created a table called students with a composite key that combines sys ID and student ID, each pairing of IDs must be unique. And now you should be familiar with the role of the primary index, its relationship to the primary key, and how to use the primary index to your advantage. Keep all of this in mind as you create your first table.